Hello mathematicians, thank you for joining me today. As we're going to try to find that, well let's suppose we have a linear transformation from r cubed to r cubed given by the image of v is a times v where a is the matrix 2, 1, 4, 2, negative 1, 2, 4, 0, 6. And so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to find the kernel and the nullity, the rank and the range, and then we're going to want to determine is this a one-to-one, -one, onto isomorphism, or none of the above? The first step in answering any of those questions is to find the row-reduced form of this matrix. So I took this and I row-reduced it. And again, if you need help with that, I would look over the videos on row reduction. But we end up with 1, 0, 3 halves, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. Now, in order to find the kernel of a linear transformation, recall that that just means that we have to find the null space of the given matrix. So therefore, if we want to find the kernel of T, we find the null space of A. And in order to find the null space of A, we really just need to find, well, what is the null space of the row reduced form? And so if I want to set this equal to zeros, well, what I have is I have a free variable, namely x3. And so I'm going to say the null space is equal to the set of all vectors of the form well, x3 can be whatever it wants, so we're going to call it t. Now, if we look at this one, this says that x1 plus 3 halves x3 is equal to 0. So that is x1 is negative 3 halves x3, or negative 3 halves t is equal to x1. If we follow that process, we get x2 is negative x3. So that is x2 has to be negative t. And so what I have is the null space is precisely just the set of vectors of the form, negative 3 halves t, negative t, t. And so therefore that will be the kernel of t as the set of vectors of that form. And so we can go a step further and say this is the span of the set of vectors, where if we plug in 1 for t, we get negative 3 halves, negative 1, 1. And so now the reason why we're doing that is because what we have is we have a generating vector for the space because anything in this form can be written as a constant multiple of this vector. So therefore, the dimension of the kernel, which is precisely just the nullity of t, is indeed equal to 1 because it has a basis consisting of one vector. And so what we've done is we found the kernel of t, and we found the nullity of t by finding the null space of a. Now that we found the kernel and the nullity of t, what we're going to do is find the range and the rank of t. So now in order to find the range of t, what we need to do is find the column space of the matrix a. So that is the range of t is just equal to the column space of A. Now, the column space is equal to, well, what we have to do is we have to look at this and say, for all the weighting ones, or all the weighting non-zero terms that are one in here, it's going to create a column which is linearly independent from other columns. And so what we would do is say, okay, well, in the first column we have a weighting one, in the second column we have a weighting one. Therefore, if I want to find the basis of the column space, I'm going to pick the first column and the second column of my original matrix. So therefore, the column space is just the span of the set of vectors 2, 2, 4, and 1, negative 1, 0. Now, because the dimension of the range is 2, we would say that that means the rank of t, which is also equal to the rank of a, is equal to 2. So the rank of this linear transformation is indeed 2. The last thing we need to do is figure out is this 1 to 1, is it on 2, is it an isomorphism? So what we'll notice here is that if we're checking 1 to 1, we just want to check the nullity. So for 1 to 1, if the nullity is 0, then I'm 1 to 1. If the nullity is not 0, then I'm not 1 to 1. Notice the nullity is 1, which is not equal to 0, so we are not 1 to 1. Now, in order to check whether or not it's on to, what I want to do is check the rank, and the rank has to be equal to the number of rows. In this case, what we have is that, well, the rank is 2, but the number of rows is 3. 
Therefore, this is not an onto mapping. Therefore, we get not onto. And again, because the rank is not equal to the number of rows. Now, if we wanted to check for an isomorphism, what we want to check is that it has to be both one-to-one -one and onto. However, since it's not one-to-one, -one, it's not an isomorphism. We only need one to be wrong before it's not an isomorphism, but we could also say it's not onto, so it's not an isomorphism. So therefore, this is not an isomorphism. And so this would be none of the above. So to recap that, then what we realize is that if we have a linear transformation given by matrix multiplication, we could find the kernel by finding the null space of the matrix. And then the nullity of the matrix is going to be the nullity of the transformation. We could find the range by finding the column space of the matrix. And so the rank of the transformation is just going to be the rank of the matrix. And we're going to say that this is going to be one to one if the nullity is zero. And it's going to be on to if the rank is equal to the number of rows. Thank you for watching. As always, I hope you learned something today and I hope you enjoyed the process along the way. If you did, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It helps me to know which videos are helpful and it helps other people to find these videos so that they can also get help. Thank you.